Hello, one and all. This is Jill from Daffodils Galleria coming to you from the kitchen. Um, I just thought I should show you what I'm working on today. I have no idea why my screen won't switch. I don't know how to do that. But um, anyway, looky here. I'm painting a shelf. <laughs> it's really hard to tell what it is when it's laying down like this. And I'm almost out of my very precious, hold on, very precious old white, original old white paint. I gotta keep moving here. But I wanna show you this, if I can do it while I'm holding the phone. Okay, so this is, it's laying down flat on its back right now. And it's really cool. These things fold down like this. Can you see that? Both of them. Can't get the other one to move. Anyway, and then they, they come up like this on the sides. Goes in that little pinhole there, like that. And then walk this way. Say hello to the doggy. Hi, peekaboo. Over here is the crown of it, the top of it. It looks like a bird cage. It's very cool. So I just wanted to show you, walking back over here, the top of it, that's the bottom. So this actually makes the shelves. And it'll be two shelves with that top on it. And when I get it done, I will show you. Right now, I'm in the middle of painting with the very, this is an old white, it's a very old tin of old white. They don't make this color anymore. The, well, they make the color, Annie Sloan does, but she's made some changes to it. And it's a lot, um, it's a lot cooler. Um, it doesn't have as much, I would say it has very little yellow in it. So you can see, I'm gonna put, woo, push it back down. And I'm just sad because this is like, the best color, but there are some additives you can make this exact color with. Um, you can take the new old white, you, and if you buy it, it has the new tin style. It's a different size, and this is the bottom of the shelf, so I'm not really that concerned with getting it beautiful. I just want the application of it on there. Anyway, you could take the old white and add, I think, um, a little bit of cream to it. And what was the other color? Cream and maybe original. And you will get this same old white look. I don't know why she changed it, because this is like one of her best sellers, I think. Anyway, come to you with more soon. Okay, I've stood it up and assembled it. It's really a very cool design. How it folds all up nicely like you saw it. And now I'm getting ready to paint the top parts of the shelves and the back parts of the wire. I just wanted to get it up and assembled. And then I'm gonna lay it back down because it's easiest to paint the crossbars. Um, here, I'll show you. Now, my, look, I got my paint sitting here soaking because, like I said, this is a really old tin, but the beauty of Annie Sloan's paint, Annie Sloan chalk paint, is that you can revive it. I had a lot of little chunks in it that I'm just gonna let them sit in the bottom and they will melt back into paint with water. I just added a little water. But anyway, so I go like, this really fast here. Hold, I'll show you. Okay, I laid it back down on its back. And you just do this action and it makes painting those little crossbars much easier. My paint's really thin right now because like I said, I'm, I watered it down to make it last longer and to, um, to, uh, 
I don't know what the right, dissolve the chunks of hardened paint that had kind of developed in the tin to dissolve them into um, liquid, to fluid paint. And I, I don't care if this is, you know, it's not gonna be a, it's gonna be a chippy look. So it's gonna be, have some of the brown maybe showing through. I'm almost done though. It's only gonna take me maybe another 10 more minutes, but you can see that's gonna be the top. And then once we get done with this part, I will work on the bird cage that goes on the top. Okay. We have the first coat done. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're finished basically with that part. I moved it to the fleur. Now we're gonna work on this, and that's the top. It goes on top of the other piece. Makes sense? That's why it's called the top. Ha uh -huh. All right, beginning coat one. We're running low on paint. That's Glory. Say hi, Glory. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we kind of wanted a um, chippy look on this because we really were at the ends of our paint tin. And we got it covered as best we could, but I think it's gonna look great once it's dried and put up on the wall. So I'm gonna put the top on it now so you can kind of see what the whole thing looks like. All right. Here it is. It's gonna be very cute, hanging on the wall in the laundry room. That is the next step in the process. But that was a fun one, wouldn't it? Yep, can't wait to get that up. I'll take a picture when it's done. If you enjoyed learning about a little bit about painting a metal, this is wrought iron, by the way. Um, piece with Annie Sloan chalk paint. Please subscribe and hit the like button and feel free to drop me a comment below. I'll uh, link up where I purchase things um, from Annie Sloan's website. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.